This redbud tree growing alongside a heavily traveled street in a Tulsa commercial district is not the only sign of nature here. A barn has just been built alongside the road. The striking structure with its green pitched roof is Grog's Green Barn. It's an organic garden center and it is the creation of Kelly Grog and his wife Carla. The building itself is designed to use nature to grow their business. The guttering system is at the heart of it. All of our gutters run to um, the two concrete cisterns that are located underneath the ground. They can hold up to 4,000 gallons of rainwater and we use that for our own irrigation purposes for all of our plants that we have here. The Grogs use the slope of the land to build their own natural water system. Water pumps are all over the property. The rock ground cover from highway construction sites is repurposed here. Inside, wood from old barns has also found new life. My front counter's from a barn in the pan, Oklahoma Panhandle, and all of my shelving came from a barn that was being torn down up north in the Great Lake area. Customers will find everything organic here, and they can also get educated on how to garden organically. When you're talking about organic gardening, soil is the most important component that you can really get into. Um, in one handful of good garden soil, you have about five billion different microorganisms. When the soil is at the right mixture and you have the right organisms working together, in reality it helps a plant create its own prevention for disease. Kelly Grog says now is the time to get your soil ready before you start spring planting. And once that is done, they can advise you on what to plant. One of the things that we focus on here is we focus on native perennials. The guy that grows these for me actually goes to the side of the highways, he goes in the hillsides, into pastures, and takes the plants, shakes the seeds out, and takes them back and actually grows all these plants for, from seed. And the great thing about a native plant is they're used to our environment. So what's good about that is they're going to be insect resistant, they're going to be disease resistant. You know, when drought comes around, they're going to be more tolerant of the drought. Carla Grog believes their organic seeds are strong because they have not been genetically altered. To plant your seeds, they offer these containers made of coconut husks. Instead of throwing plastic away whenever you transplant them into your garden, these actually biodegrade into your garden and you don't, they, their roots will just spread through the bottom so you don't have to throw anything away. These balls of clay containing seeds can also be planted right into your soil. It's something Native Americans taught us. If you plan to give your soil nutrients from your own compost, they have something to make that a little easier. And this is a compost tumbler where you actually can put the compost in the top of it you put and, uh, and, and you just put it in there. And the great thing is, is you just put the cover back on, hopefully, and then you just turn it. And what that turning does, it helps mix it up and helps um, get the different, the different um, medians all mixed together. And then the black helps it heat up because you want to heat up above 135 degrees for at least three days. And for those that just want to try their hand at gardening in a very small way, these are little garden in a bags, and uh, there's a mini tomato, a mini sunflower, and the nasturtium, which um, these, the sunflower and the nasturtium are actually companion plants for your garden. Um, for vegetable gardens, you're supposed to plant the good plants with the vegetables, and it'll bring in the beneficial insects. Organic garden tools with bamboo handles line the walls. There are even tools for the little gardeners in your life. The birds, um, I just thought were neat, and they're all native birds to Oklahoma, and they all do their, their little sound. This barn has been a dream come true for the Grogs, who are passionate about gardening and protecting our environment, and they hope their business will encourage others to go green.